Hey everybody, how's it going? Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm going to quick show you how to create an official LCBC universal slide loop within ProPresenter 7. It's fairly similar to ProPresenter 6, it's slightly different, but it's just as easy. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously we need the item slide loop. So I'm going to go up here to the library and hit the plus. And I don't want a new library, I just want a new presentation. Um, if you want, you can create a separate library for, for special elements. I have one. Um, but I'm going to create a new presentation, which is just another word for um, one of these documents. So see the light would be considered a new presentation. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to send it to special elements. And then I'm going to name it slide loop. And I'm going to name it walk in because I have a couple. I have a separate one for walk out. Then I'm going to create that. And you can see it automatically gives you a blank slide, which I'm going to delete because we don't need that yet. Um, so now when you go through your library in special elements, I have my slide loop walk-in. So I'm going to grab that and drag it right into weekend. And now when I click on into weekend, I have it. So I'm just going to drag it up there. So now I have this blank slate here. So we obviously need content. So I'm going to go to my finder. Now I have these videos already saved in my documents under weekend content. If you do not and you need it from Dropbox, which we constantly update that for new series. Um, so just a note is if you're going to grab it from Dropbox, make sure that you copy and paste it into your documents and then drag it into ProPresenter 7. If you just grabbed it from, Drop from Dropbox and put it directly into ProPresenter 7, you would be stealing it from other campuses and that's no bueno. So just make sure you copy and paste when you're doing this. So I'm just going to grab the ones I need. And I'm going to click and drag right into the presentation. It's going to automatically import it. And there we have it. So one important thing to remember as you're making these is that the default setting for background versus foreground is always going to be foreground. So if you right click on one of these and you go to media action behavior, you'll see that foreground is already set. Again, that's the default. And so this matters and I'll show you that in just a second. So the first thing that we want to do is add go to next timers to each of these slides. So to do that, you right click, go to next timer. Uh, and this is where foreground versus background matters. If it was background, the duration that you would be selecting is the duration of the entire piece of media being shown. So these are 12 second files. If this was set to background, I would put 12 or 11 seconds, whichever you want and then I'd hit done. These are in foreground, which means that as it says here, the last frame will be displayed for this amount of time. So that is what you're setting in the duration, not the duration of the actual piece of media. So I don't want the last frame to be displayed for a long time. So I'm actually going to put 0 0.0 because I, I want it there as less as possible. So I'm going to hit that and then when you're done, you can hit done makes sense. Or you can hit enter. I'm going to hit enter because it's way faster. Um, but now we have a go to next timer. So now when I click on this, if you look over in the preview box here, I'll skip ahead a little bit. Once it's finished, it goes right to the next one. Um, so that's good. We want to do that for all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Again, we're going zero seconds because we want as little of that last blue frame as possible. So go to next. And we're going to do this for each of the slides except for the last one. That one will be a slightly different. I know this is the most exciting part of the video where you watch me type point zero over and over again. All right, so the last one is usually the new series slide, um, just a preview for what's coming up next. So I'm going to set my go to next timer. I'm going to set it to 0, .0 but instead of hitting done right away, we're going to select loop to beginning. That just makes sure that when this file finishes up, it's going to jump back to the welcome slide. So I'll hit done. I'm going to test that out really quick. You can see that little icon's right there. That means go to start. So I'm going to click on it, fast forward, and it should loop right up to the welcome. So we're in business. 
So the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a clear all so that when this is running and your graphics operator wants to transition to the next part of the gathering, they'll be able to clear all. So all I'm going to do is just go down here and because this is already selected, I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to add new slide all at the top. So it's going to add it at the end of my presentation. Um, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to add action. These are essentially cues as they were called in ProPresenter 6. So I'm going to go to clear. Um, and so this is media, the layer we're clearing, but I would just hit clear all. So in case you have something special in addition to the regular slide loop, it'll just clear everything. So now I'm going to test that. I'll just click whichever one. And then, all right, it has a nice fade to it. So um, you can adjust the transition if you want. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I think that's okay. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, this would also be the time, if you need to, to add an audience look, which is essentially multi-screens from ProPresenter 6, um, but that's going to be a different video, so I'll leave that to that. But that is pretty much it. Um, if you want to sit and test it, it should loop all the way through these without you having to touch it, and then loop back to the beginning when it's done. And then obviously, when you click the clear all, it should clear it out. So. That is it. That's how you make the universal slide loop. And now you are fully equipped to do so. So have a good one.